Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you might be. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. What I'm going to make for you today is brownies that I found on Pinterest. Erlene asked me earlier this morning when I was going to come come uh, doing my broadcast. I said, well, it would be for a while, but I wanted to get my lunch all made, which I made that soup that I made last week again. I made that. Wanted to get my dishes all done up. So then I, then I came in here and I did the prep work on this to get it started. And I will tell you, I will tell you exactly what I have in my bowl here. Um, the dry ingredients, let me go back as I can get them here. Um, oh, it's, it's this way. Sorry. Okay. The dry ingredients are um, uh, three fourths cup of a cocoa powder. Now everybody knows that I use carob powder. Um, one and one half cups of all purpose flour. One half teaspoon of salt. And one one half cup of chocolate chips. That's what it what I have because I have carob chips in here. Um, and this has all been whisked together or stirred together with they say to use a wooden spoon, which is a lot better. My wet ingredients are going to be the uh, well, you can use flax well, there's the lady sugar for I'm going to, which I have in my pan put the thing down, but I got my in my in my pan there, along with a half a cup of water, I stirred them all, stirred it together, whisked it together until my uh, sugar was dissolved. Now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna be adding the, you can have put black, flax seed or, or um, applesauce, and I'm gonna use applesauce instead. Um, you got, and you gotta use oil, I gotta get, get um, it doesn't matter which oil, it says vegetable oil, but, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Let me get my oil out of my extract. And I'll, I'm going, I'm, I'm lighting my oven right now, so I won't forget that. I think I'll use avocado oil instead. I think I'll use avocado oil instead of uh, coke. Sometimes your, um, unless it's light um, olive oil, can leave a real harsh taste, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna whisk whisk this. I can if I put it down just a tad. I want to. I'm using a different. Um, using a different uh, tripod, so I want to make sure it doesn't fall over. Oh, I think you better, I don't want my phone falling out, so I'm just going to do it just like that. Um, well, hi, I'm just going to stir this just, just for, 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 for a little bit, and I'm going to put it back up. I just want to see what you can see what I was doing there. So I'm going to put this back up because I don't want to, I don't want my thing falling over. Okay, it's the selfie stick. Hi, Erlene. It's the selfie stick I used when I did my broadcast when I was walking. I was going to do a, <laughs> a walking broadcast this morning, but unfortunately, I started walking and it wouldn't let me broadcast. They, it gave me an error and I thought, uh-oh, I can't broadcast. Well, what it was, it was on their end. It was a glitch in it. It wouldn't let me create a create a, uh, a, new, a new broadcast, so I couldn't broadcast. So I just had to leave it go. And I thought, well, I can come in here now and do this, so it'll be fine. So I'm going to get... Um, my instructions here, um, and it'll tell me what to do here. Um, now, let me if I, okay, I get out of that. Okay. okay. Meanwhile, a large bowl was stirred. I stirred together all the dry ingredients. Um, once the sugar is completely dissolved, give it a final whisk, then add it into the dry ingredients. Okay, I'm going to add it into the dry ingredients. So, so I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, my water, that my dish water is still sitting there, so I can so I can do more dishes. You can't see my face, huh? Oh well, you weren't supposed to before. <laughs> I had it all the way down, Erlene, showing my uh, um, what my pot. So that's why. Okay, now add all remaining wet ingredients, including the flax. Okay, five tables. Okay, and mix together with a wooden spoon. Okay, now I'm going to. Um, put in my um, my five tablespoons of applesauce and the oil and the vanilla extract. Okay, now let me get my and I found some uh, handy dandy ones at Walmart that I like. These are all magnetized; they kind of stick together. So this kind of works really well because I can um, 
It's even got a one and a half tablespoon and it's got a two tablespoon. Um, yeah, this is a two tablespoon and it takes five. So I just use this. Two. Okay, one and a half. That's three and a half. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just do it that way. So let's we'll see how it's going to make it out here. So let's see. It calls for five tablespoons of, uh, let me get a spoon for this. Well, actually, I could use this twice, I guess, instead of using the other ones. I'd rather use this than the flax meal. You can use the flax, could use the flax meal. And she said, and the woman that made this re recipe, she said that she had no problem. People said they had a, it was a different taste with the flax meal. So I thought, well, I've got applesauce, might as well just use it. So now I'll get my, my one, oh, this is the wrong one. That's one and a half. I need to get my one here. Yeah, here we go. These are kind of cool how they how they kind of um, they mag they're magnetized and they kind of uh, stick together. Oh, now I have to wash it. I got it dirty. Oh. Just my now that's I'll just throw it in my water because so it, it got on the floor. So okay, now here's my one. Okay, there we go. Good thing I left my water in there so I can finish finished well doing my dishes that I need to do um I like I said I did all my I did all my dishes before I I uh came on here and and got everything done I want to do the most of the prep work before I come in here because I didn't want to do it all when I'm in here okay now let me see what it says to do um uh I'm back because I don't mean one ingredients clean flax eggs and carefully episode or an extra stir okay and that's on this i had to be sure not to on um, the dry ingredients not to okay half a cup of oil and one tablespoon of vanilla extract okay half a cup of oil get my half a cup of measures in here and i'll have to get that out yeah there it is i'll just wash i just dry these off so Oh, I know. They do turn colors, don't they? Hi, Damon. Good to see you. Now, this I'm going to... You're going to wash me now. I'm going to stop this because it, it, well, it's already preheated. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it. But I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to hit this back on bake again. And I'm going to make sure that I start it back up so I don't forget it. There. Now it's starting back up. Now I'll just leave it go. We're putting this in there before too long anyway. Okay. Now let me see what I'm going to do here. It says a half a cup of, or yeah, half a cup of oil and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay, half a cup of oil. Well, I better use my half cup measure here. I the wrong measure. Oh, geez, this isn't even, I don't even have this open. I thought I had one already started. Well, maybe I'll get my olive oil anyways. It not, not, might not be too bad because I use olive oil all the time, so I'm going to try it. It shouldn't be too awful bad, so because it's still a vegetable oil. Okay, All right. okay. and then I need a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I put this back, and I'll get my vanilla extract. tablespoon okay this is one tablespoon so I'll just use this my hands a little a little slippery so I just use my so now you know that the oven's lit so I won't have that problem of it not baking the brownies so we'll see how this is going to work okay now I gotta make sure I do this right because they say that if you use a wooden spoon, it'll come out 
um, shiny on the crust, otherwise it won't. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure I do everything right. I've got everything in here. Um, I don't have any white beans, including mix together with a wooden spoon until a batter forms. Careful not to over mix, just, just until stir and just still combine. Okay, now I'm gonna take my wooden spoon, you see here, wooden spoon. Well, you know, I like the Pampered Chef products, but um, when I can find something in the store that will work, that's what I go ahead and use too. Because you're right, that like the measure alls. In fact, I lost my two cup measure all. I don't even know where it went to. I don't know if I accidentally tossed it out. I told Alexis about it the other day. She said she can't find hers either. So I don't know um, what I'm going to do. So I'll just use my, um, actually, I've got a two cup measure here. This is two cups. It comes out two cups. We've got one and a half, one. These are, and this is a nice set. I don't remember what I paid for, but I got it at Walmart, and I thought, well, this is, this is an awesome. Okay, you want to mix it. So I'm going to, then I'm going to think, and then I have to, I think I got everything in here, then I pour it into my, um, fold into the ch chocolate chips that, Fold the chocolate chips in if you're using their optional, but they do help. I already got the full, uh, chocolate chips in there. Um, I put them in there when I when I did the uh, the dry ingredients. I'm gonna make sure I get this all mixed together. I'm sorry I didn't I didn't come on when I when I had before I started this, but I want to get most of the prep work done because that's gonna have to be in the oven a while anyway. They say 35 to 42 minutes, but I think I'll put it in 30. We'll just start it at 30. I think with the convection oven is good, and they can leave it like that anyway. So at least you know my oven's hot. It didn't, uh, okay, now. And the reason I'm using parchment paper is we all know that parchment paper helps things come out a lot easier. You don't want to use, you don't want to put anything in here without parchment paper. Oh, it didn't mix very well. No, it didn't. So hard to get it at the bottom. I'll just stir this around a little bit. This is the this is the batter bowl. I don't know if it's the big one or the little one, but I do use this batter bowl sometimes. It works well, just, it works just as well to get everything in out. So, water. Okay. Yeah. Well, take some of this off the spoon. See how it is. Mm. I know it's it's black batter, but mm, it's not gonna hurt me. Mm. It's gonna be really good. Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this in the oven. And I think I said, I think I'll put it in for 30, 30 minutes. I think that that might be sufficient. I don't want to put it in for 35. That might be too done. Because this is since this is a convection oven. Alexa, set the timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Starting now. Good old Alexa. So how is everybody doing today? Have you had a great day so far? It's you been... An answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I first sent. Enjoy and smile like it's the last day. Is that answer your question? <laughs> I was asking you guys, and she thought I was asking her. Anyway... Everybody had a good day today. It's been uh, quiet here, as, as always is. You know, um, just me and the dogs make the most of it. I do enjoy coming in here um, and doing my recipes, although I'm not getting as many as I'd like. But you know something? It'll happen eventually. I just have to uh, stop and think that a lot of people have left the app. And uh, by the way... We're speaking of apps, there was, an, uh, there was an update for iOS. I don't know about Android, but those that have iOS, please do an update. There was an update, I think, the day before yesterday. Uh, oh, you went to Target, Myers, and oh, Zerbo's. Okay. Yeah, I went to Walmart yesterday um, to get a few things. Um, and I wanted to get some more stuff, maybe for my soup if I didn't have it. But I still had stuff left over from last week when you know I made my lentil potato soup. It took a little time for the prep work and everything, but it was so good. And I still got some left 
so I can have it tomorrow or the next day. I've got it sitting in an airtight container right now, so it'll it'll do just fine. So, um, but it tastes so good. It really, it really, really does. Um, I do and do enjoy coming in here. Like I said, I missed doing a walking broadcast this morning. I couldn't broadcast for some unknown reason. There was a glitch. It wouldn't let me create a new broadcast. So since I couldn't create a new broadcast, by the time I was able to, because one of my one of my users, my friends had come on. She does she does a reading the Bible every day. And when she was on there, I thought, how in the world can she get on? Can I finally get on? So I tried after after that and I could. But I was almost halfway home and I thought, well, I'll forget it for now. And I'll just do this now. But it was, I don't know, disheartening that I couldn't broadcast. But you know, it is what it is. Sometimes that happens, things happen, and you can't always, you know, do what you want to do when you want to do it. So you just got to take take it as it comes. So anyway, I hope this uh, works okay and my phone doesn't flip out because I'm doing the uh, uh, selfie stick. The other one kind of got to the point where the legs wouldn't hardly stand up and the phone was just, I couldn't get the phone out of the um, stand at all. Um, so I'm going to try this for a while and see how it works. So anyway... I hope you've all had a good day, um, that you're behaving yourselves, um, that you're, you guys are blessed, um, that God's blessing you um, immensely. I know I'm being blessed very much so by being on here, just being alive every day. I'm, I'm blessed that way. You know, I'm, I'm alive. So that that's a good thing, you know. Um, anyway, I thought my daughter would be in here. She's, she's awful work and today so i won't get to talk to her again so i get to talk to her two days a week but she is going to get uh, christmas off so i'll get to talk to her christmas um <laughs> well you know we, we all do that you know when i come to uh christmas and stuff november and december is really rough for me because when i you know uh spend money you know you end up spending it pretty fast for christmas and stuff and I had to wait for to get my new rent, which it came in yesterday. So it's so that's it's everything's good, and I, I can pay bills again. So that's a good thing. But I got everything all purchased. Everything um, has been. Uh, I haven't wrapped it up yet, but everything has come. There were two things that that were wrong that I ended up taking to UPS store to, to return yesterday, and it's amazing how good the return system is through Amazon. You know, you just get that code and you return it. And I got my money back right away. Went in my Amazon account. I thought, wow, that's awesome. Because it was almost $60 for two items. So I thought, well, I, I might as well return it and get my money back. You know, that's, uh, it happens. It happens. What it was is I ordered a blanket for my daughter-in-law. But when I got, I wanted to get for her. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to order a different blank, <laughs> different blanket. So I ordered a different blanket. And it's woven, but I like the sentiment on it a lot much better. And it's got butterflies and birds on it. It's a blue color. And I think she'll like it. So I ordered that. Something I had ordered for my son that ended up being too small. So I thought, well, I'll order him something else. So I ordered him a plaque, a wooden plaque with the sentiment on it. He can hang it on the wall. So I returned those and I just got um, replaced them. And the things I replaced with them, I already got those. So I've got everything ready to go, get ready, wrapped up and everything. <laughs> Oh, they did. Well, see, all I all I had to do was just go to my UPS store. They scan the co the uh, code, and they do all the boxing and everything. You don't box it. You just give it to them the way it is. They scan the code, and then they back. You know, just like the code, it was already uh, gone to Amazon that I that I was doing my return. I got my money back right away. Even before they get the item back, I, I, I got my, I thought, that's awesome. You know, some places are, are not very good for customer service, but they're great for customer service. Really great. Um, oh, you had that choice for ginger. Oh, okay. Well, um, I probably could too, but um, I think it's much easier just to get the code because it's right on my phone. They just scan it right from my phone. It makes it much easier. And because I'd already started the return. Once I had, once I realized I wasn't going to keep the blanket and the little wallet, I just started my return and kept the code there. And I thought, well, when I go to return them, then I have to just bring that, go into Amazon, find those returns and, and bring up the code. And she scanned it all, all set to go. So it's awesome. But you know, Amazon has got a good return 
on it. Um, I will say this year, everything came pretty much on time. I did have one thing that came later than it was supposed to. Um, but other than that, everything either came right on time or even came a little early. So that's a good thing. You know, shipping last year was horrible. Um, the thing that my grandson wanted, I didn't get from Amazon. It was for a different website altogether. It seemed like it took almost two weeks to get it. And then once I got it, I had to take the plastic wrap off of it because it'll, it'll, it'll it's foam. He, I don't know what he's going to use the foam rubber for, but anyway, it's foam that he wanted. He's going to make something with it. And they say, if you don't take it out of the uh, plastic wrap, it was so tightly wrapped that it would, it would br get brittle and crack. And I didn't want to give him that uh, crack and brittle it is in a plastic bag so i thought well I'll just take the other thing off and leave it in a plastic bag and just kind of take the plastic bag down and i just have to wrap it up the way it is i can't find a box big enough to put it in because it's ginormous it's about like this ginormous so i can't find a box big enough to put in it put it in so i'll just have to wrap it up the way it is um but everything like i said everything's all all here and just have to get them wrapped up and and uh yeah <laughs> It, I wondered if it's the same thing he ordered, but I guess it is because he 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 sent to me what he wanted me to order. And I ordered right from the page that he told me what he. So if he asked for the wrong thing, it's not my fault. So I I ordered the very thing that he had mentioned. So or he had shown me. So, but it's nice, you know. You can go right on on Amazon or the website and order right from the website. Most of the stuff I got from Amazon. His is the only items. He's got one item, the foam, that did not come from Amazon. Everything else, he got one item that did come from Amazon. Everything else that I ordered is from Amazon. Even ordered my daughter something from Amazon, which I'm not going to say what it is because she may come in here and I don't want her to know, but I got her and the, my my um, son-in-law and, and the grandkids some stuff. So she's got them all under the tree right now. So um, it's hard to believe it. Next week's going to be Christmas already. Wow. You know, we're having a, we're having a nice... Uh, I'm going to try, we have a Christmas Eve service where we're going to have music, um, Christmas carols and what have you. I'm going to try to get there. Now, I don't drive at night, but the secretary said if there, if somebody needs a ride and doesn't drive at night, to let her know, she'll see to it we get a ride. So maybe I'll ask my son if he'll pick me up or maybe maybe her and her husband will or something, you know, because since I don't drive at night, because I want to be there for that musical program. You're going to have, you're going to have instruments, you're going to have singing. So it'll be a beautiful Christmas Eve service. And then, of course, we have a regular Sabbath Sabbath service on Christmas. And then we're having a Christmas dinner afterwards. So we're going to have a great Christmas. It's going to be wonderful. You know, not only can I spend spend Christmas with my family at church, I spend it with everybody else. And, you know, not, that to me is wonderful because my daughter-in-law is having the uh, food catered. She's having it brought in. I don't know where she's having it brought in to and from, but she's having the meal catered. So I, I, I pitched in and helped. I think everybody's donating, you know, so many dollars, you know, you can do donate whatever you want. I donated twenty dollars to help defray the cost of the food because you know when you have food catered, it can be expensive. So I decided, well, I'll I'll help her for, with twenty dollars, and everybody else can help with whatever they want, you know. And that'll be a good meal. I'm going to look forward to it. So it's hard to believe that that's almost here again. It seemed like we just had it, and now it's back again. You know, the years go so fast, don't they? Um, every year that. Go, you know, it goes, it brings us that much closer to the end time. So we'll have to wait and see how things go. You know, don't know when it's going to happen, but, you know, we take each day as it comes, each week as it comes, and hopefully it, it will be here before you know it. So anyway, I'm, I'm enjoying being on here and, and doing the uh, broadcasting because I don't broadcast as much as I should, but I was going to start doing my clarinet and I was going to start doing my keyboard, but I, have to get up enough nerve to do it and i don't want to put the dog's ears because when i start playing chords on the clarinet they think somebody's at the door and they start they start barking go to the door but go to the front door and bark their full heads off so i thought well i don't want to do that you know i have to play it softer but anyway i'm going to try that eventually carmen's looking up at me like you want to go outside i gotta let her out just a minute come on you want to go outside She needed to go outside. She's looking up at me like, I need to go out. <laughs> so she really is unhappy with me. Hi, Aiden. Good to see you. I'll have to tell you what I've got in my brownies. It's in it's in the oven right now, and I've got the timer set for, for 30 minutes. It's supposed to be 35 to 42 minutes, but I thought 30 minutes. Is this a convection oven? It should get done in good time. 
um, part and it's in parchment paper, so you'll be able to get them out. I think it makes 16 brownies. Um, but I'll tell you what it's got in it. Um, very, uh, very healthy ingredients. First of all, it's got a cup and a half of very fine gran uh, ground granulated sugar. Well, I don't use granulated sugar. I use the Mirena, uh, cane sugar. So that's what I used. Um, and a half a cup of water, which you take the sugar and the water and you put, and you mix them on the stove until the sugar is all dissolved. It gets kind of cloudy, but that's what it's supposed to. Then it's either a half uh, or two tablespoons of ground flaxseed or five tablespoons of applesauce. Well, I used applesauce instead, so I had it, so I thought I might as well have, go ahead and use it. Um, a half a tablespoon of oil, or half a cup of oil, excuse me, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. So I used a uh, olive oil. And the dry ingredients were the cocoa powder, which everybody knows I, knows I use care powder. One half cups of all-purpose flour, which I'm just about out. In fact, I just ran, I ran out, I had just enough. So I could toss that out. I've got more in the other room, I think. Um, half a cup of salt and a, or half a teaspoon of cream and a cup, half a cup of salt. Oh my goodness, you even need it. And um, half a cup of chocolate chips are very good here chips. I put the carrots in the dry, so I didn't have to add any more. So um, it ought to be pretty good. So we're gonna see, I'm hoping it'll come out good. It's baking really good. Um, Last time I went to bake something, I forgot to have my oven on. I got it on this time. So it's I, I turned it on and I made sure I left it on because this is the kind of oven once it pre preheats, then you you have to you have to end it and then you gotta start it back up. But I forgot to start up up when I'm when I did my um I remember what I was making, but anyway, I forgot to turn it back. Oh, that cookie. And I forgot to turn it back on and I had to turn it on in the middle of the thing, but I did get them done, but it was an embarrassment, let me tell you. But this time I didn't forget. I thought, well, when I turn it back on, I'm just gonna leave it go. It won't matter. So anyway, oh, good, good. Thank you, thank you, Aiden. You know, a lot of people have left the app. I hope those people that have left come back. It seems like there aren't as many on here as there used to be, um, at least a lot of them. And I see music ones, I'm not following them, so. Um, with the exception of the ones I'm not following, the ones I am following, it doesn't seem like there's an awful lot on there anymore. You know, um, it's, it's crazy, but you know, people don't, people don't really like the app, but if you got, if you got an iPhone, Aiden, there was just an update the other day. So be sure and update it. I don't know if there was for Android or not, but, uh, usually I think Android comes up right at, right shortly thereafter. And so I'm, I apologize for my dogs out there. I don't know what they're barking at. Um, I do too, because I miss, I really do, I really miss him. Um, okay, good, Aiden. Um, I miss, I miss them too. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of good broadcasters that left, you know, Randy, I mean, it's, in spite of the way he feels about Haps, he was a very good broadcaster. I do miss him here. He's on Twitch. I don't, I have a Twitch account, but I don't go in there and watch him, um, because the last time, the last time I went in and watched him, I didn't ha get a very good feeling from him being on there because he started talking about haps. He started talking about haps and people that are on haps are losers. And I didn't feel right um, going in there and watching him. So I stayed out of it. Maybe I shouldn't bring him up in my broadcast. I'm sorry for it. I did. But I just want people to know that that's the way he feels. So, um, but it's totally up to you if you want to watch him or not. You know, I miss him. I miss all the people that, that, that used to be broadcasters on here. Um, maybe they'll come back in time. I think it's going to take time because, you know, the app is fairly new. Um, and there are some glitches in it yet. Um, a glitch this morning was I couldn't broadcast. And I thought, oh, no, am I going to have that problem with that? My like Sadie's having where she couldn't broadcast at all. Because, see, I was grandfathered in. But it kept going round and round and round and wouldn't, wouldn't generate the title for my broadcast. And I thought, what is going on here? I kept trying it two, three times. It, it said the same thing. Try again later. So I I thought, well, I'll just leave it go. And then one one of my friends that I follow came on the broadcast. Then I thought, well, she got on. I wonder if I can. So then I checked after her. And I didn't put a title or anything in. I just wanted to see if I could get in there, and I could. So I thought, good. It, it was just a glitch. We know it's glitchy, but you know something? I don't take anything away from it at all because I like it. Um, could use a little Zoom. But, you know, <laughs> um, I guess we can get around that. <coughs> there is no Zoom, so I just go 
stand a little bit closer, like when I'm at church or something, I just stand a little bit closer so um, I can get get everything in that I need. It's it's that's the way it goes, you know. I you know, it, and I'd like to have see a, I'd like to see a that, um, landscape, but I don't know if we'll ever get that or not. But you know something, it's okay because this is a great app. Um, yeah, I think so too. I think so too, Aiden. That's the first time that's ever happened to me because most of the time when I go to generate a broadcast, it generates it. It doesn't keep that wheel doesn't keep going around. The circle goes around and around and around and doesn't stop. And then we hit then when you hit OK or done, it's still going around and you still have the the because I got a red um, error message at the top, and I thought, well, I'll just give it a little time, you know. As as with everything, when you start out, you're going to have problems you're going to have um things that, that need to be worked out we knew that there was going to be glitches in here but you know something all in all it's a real good app it really is they've done a marvelous job i know i couldn't do it <laughs> i could not do it at all but i'm glad that they've that they've come along like they have and and made it as nice as they have um i kind of like it i really do um it's it's different you know it's trying to get used to it because i was used to the old app and then have to to get used to this and all over again. but you know something that's okay because you know something i don't know about what you think but i think the pictures on this one is a lot clearer than it was on the other one much clearer and the data is much better too um we don't have much problem with data you know i don't have problems with uh um getting uh knocked off or freezing or anything like that i've got a good connection right now it shows i don't have it on wi-fi either so that's you know that's pretty good the data is a lot better now than, than it was before because I froze a lot on the other one. I'd be walking in with the old app and I and I would end up freezing right in the middle of my broadcast, you know, or I'd get a, a poor um, a poor signal and I couldn't do anything. I'd have to wait for the poor signal to leave before I could do anything. Here, you don't get any indication of a poor signal. <coughs> you just, you know, you can pretty much tell what you're, if you've got uh Two or three. I've got two. I've got two bars right now, which is not too bad. It should be three, but I'll I'll take it. And uh, I don't have this phone is a five G, but in my area here we don't have five G yet, so I'm not afforded that luxury of seeing how five G is. As I understand it, it's probably not not any better than four G LTE. So only time will tell on that because I'm with Verizon, but they haven't got it in this area yet. Don't know when they're going to get it. Only time will tell. So hopefully they'll get it pretty soon. Um, would be nice, you know. My daughter's got it. She's with AT and T, and she's in Missouri, and she's and she's got five G. And uh, I don't know if she notices any difference or not. Um, she hasn't said anything, but uh, I only get to talk to her two days a week now because she works. Uh, she works five days and off two two in a row, and then works another five days now. This week she just gets today, yesterday and today off, like she always gets, and then. Next week she'll get Tuesday, Wednesday off, work Thursday and Friday, and then get Saturday off because of Christmas. She asked for it off, so she gets that off, and then she's back. She's going to set her own schedule where she's going to uh, get Friday and Saturday off, and then work the rest of the week. So and that's coming up. I think she said in February or March. So right now, um, she just she, what she's doing is uh, working for uh, at home, taking calls for Dish Network. So she found that online and, and applied for it, and she had to take the training and everything so now she's she's uh where she's taking calls and i think it's awesome you know i'm really proud of her being going and and getting a a job like that she gets pretty good pay too 12.50 at home for um an hour it's pretty doggone good if you ask me and she gets an extra hour on the weekends i mean who else can get paid 12.50 an hour sitting at home man that's <laughs> that's sometimes better than, than going to job going to work you know because going to work you you know you have to spend money on your gas. You may, you got to make enough to compensate for all the gas you put into your vehicle and the running up and down the road. Her husband, he live streams to make money. So he doesn't go, he doesn't work right now because he got laid off of his job. So, you know, <laughs> that's the way it goes. It really, it really goes. So um, I'm hoping this will be done before too long. I don't know how many more minutes it's got on it. Um, Alexa, how many minutes are left on the timer? eight minutes and 40 some seconds so it's getting there so 
I, mean, I apologize for my dogs. They're out there barking at something. I don't know what they're barking at, but they they always like to go outside and bark when I'm on doing a broadcast. But but at least they're not bothering me anyway. So anyway, I hope everybody's had a good day so far. Um, and that you're um, being blessed, you know, and that you got your Christmas shopping done. Um, it's fun. It's it's fun to to shop, but I don't I didn't have to beat the crowds. I just stayed home and did it. That's the best. Just stay home and do it. And you don't have to fight the crowds, you know. Um, therefore, while all I was doing was giving my family money, I'd go take money out of my account and give them money for Christmas. But that to me just didn't set with me too well because they never gave me any information what they wanted. So I'd just give them money. They said, well, just give us money. But they would sit there and watch me open up and they'd have nothing to open up. So I thought, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I told them, I says, I'm going to buy you something. I'm not going to let you sit there and watch me open up if you don't, you don't open anything up. So they're each going to get um, two things to open up. So I got eight gifts to wrap. So I got four people I had to buy for my son and daughter-in-law and the two grandkids. So there, I'll get them wrapped up. Get outside. Go outside now. Go. She's a noisy thing. I'm going to get my, uh, my, uh, um, thing to sit up my rack and I'll be right over here. I'll be right back. It's over here. Racks are really nice. This is the no, it's not not pampered chef, but this I bought this I bought this at uh, Walmart. This is a good set. It's got this is the two cup, and you got a cup and a half. You got a cup, and and then you got uh, let's see, two thirds of a cup. Then you got half a cup. You got uh, let's see, a fourth, no, a third, and then a fourth, and then you got the smaller ones. So I like it. It's really awesome because I got all that I want. Some of my ones I got from after, you know, after it kind of uh, bad, but I don't know where my two me two cup measure all went. And that, I love that thing, but it's gone. Maybe I'll have to look in my cupboards and maybe I threw it, tossed it in the cupboards and didn't, you know, didn't. Fall. But I I think what happened to me it may have accident. I got into the garbage by mistake and I threw it out. That's probably what happened. I can't find it anywhere. So uh -huh. I miss it, but at least I got my one cup and then I got these to use. I got these to use too. This is a two cup, so I can use these. So that's okay. You know, anyway, um, I don't have a few minutes left and when these come out, then I'll go get my, um, I'll admit so, we'll, so I have everything ready to go when it, they come out. So just get the, just get the, uh, um, hot pads. My daughter-in-law gave me this last year for Christmas. So, anyway, it's good to see everybody here. But it only shows two, three. I don't know if that if that count is even right. I I don't know. They were supposed to fix the count, but I'm not sure it's even right. Oh, uh, there aren't people that even. Okay, there it comes. Okay, now I can uh, end this. Turn it off. Okay, now we'll see if this is done. I can always put it back in if it's not. Few minutes, but I think it should be. Let's see here. Oh yeah, this is cracking. Don't want it in there anymore. There, look at that. Ah, they're done because it's good and cracked. For parchment paper. I'm gonna let this cool way down because once you get parchment paper, then you. You can take off and then you can cut them now. I think this goes to teen of them, it says, I believe. So um, I'm really, I'm really in. Yeah, wasn't that nice, Damon? I'm going to leave it sit on this rack for a while. I'm not even going to touch them because they got to cool way off. And the whole idea of this, this rack is that it can cool from the bottom. You don't, you know, it won't stay hot. So you don't want it to continue to bake or anything like that. You need to get air to it. Because um, I got these are pampered chef ones. I got two of them. I don't know where the other one's at. Um, but I just use one at a time anyway. So these make good things. If you set something underneath it, you know, if you uh, don't have covered space, this could go on your cover and stick stuff underneath it too. So, uh, but this is going to be awesome. Really nice. Um, look like the one side, the parchment paper isn't up too good, but that's all right. It'll come off anyway. It'll come out anyway, but, uh, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to stand here until, until they're cooled off because they're going to take too long to cool, but I probably will. I'll cut them later whenever or tomorrow 
and I put them up on my Facebook page. And those, though, for those of you who may not know, I've got a Facebook page, Karen's Vegan Heaven, which was which was uh, the uh, name that Alexis chose, and I stuck with it. Um, I go in, you go in there, and you just uh, join, answer the questions, and then um, post a recipe with the with the pictures of the finished product. And uh, I'm going to post this up on Facebook um, for, uh, tomorrow, some maybe tonight or tomorrow. I'll post it up on Facebook and show you the finished product. I'll have to take a picture of it with my phone and post it up there. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to go because I've got a few more things I have to do in the kitchen and everything, and I want to get straightened up. So, I hope you all have a great and, and marvelous day, night, morning, wherever you might be. Take care. God bless. And I love you all. Bye bye.